I think one of the commitments we make as educators is not necessarily to be the sole repository of all knowledge, right? And so oftentimes, I think what we do is we try to help students uh, point them toward people sometimes who are even um, a better fit than we are. You are aware of other practitioners who can help a student in their development. So um, it's a chance to have a generous space that allows for collaboration. I think it's a great way for, for these institutions to um, kind of share, right? And this medium is, is, is an excellent conduit for that because it, because it is so reliant on, on um, kind of a, a, a communal culture. So I'm hoping to, to find some resolution here so that students can kind of see the process from beginning to end. You know, every program has their, their own sort of studio culture, their own sort of techniques that they have mastered and work with, and then just by having somebody from another program come, it introduces a whole new slew of ideas that, you know, the program might not have considered before. Um, and it's just nice to always get input from somebody outside of your own program. Because um, when we do this program, bring people in, they also do studio visits. So they come look at your artwork, give you feedback. And it's just nice to have an outside source with kind of an unbiased eye looking at your artwork and giving you that sort of feedback. John's approach is very different from mine, and that's exciting. And so I want to have someone like him in our studio. There's a, there's a, a lot to admire, and for myself, it's kind of nice to come here and, and to be in, um, surrounded by it. You know, U UT is, is uh, there are these uh, national rankings that come out um, semi-annually, and UT is, is number two currently. And, the work that comes out of this program is, is among the best.